way we've said it since I've been here is we want to be relevant. I want to tell you there wasn't a channel that I turned on today that didn't have something to say about you, the Ole Miss Rebels. And if I'm counting it right, and it looks right, it looks like about 102,000 came to see you tonight. We beat them last year, you experienced that, and tonight when you beat them on their own field, it'll be even sweeter probably. So all we need to do now is let's just walk out of here, lock those gates behind us, lock those gates, and let's go pick a fight with these boys. It's time to play football. Noble is ready. Ole Miss and Alabama. And it's a nice high deep kick. It can be returned at the one, taken by Drake. He comes to the middle of the field, the 10, the 15, upended and dropped. The ball's on the ground. The ball's on the ground. The Rebels claim they have it at the 17 yard line, and they do. Boom! That's a way to start it. Special team. Just ready. Oh, man. That's how you start the game. Ready now. That's how you start ready now. Clayton waits for the snap. There it is. He fakes the handoff. Pressure right up the middle. He throws deep. It's long. That could be picked. Elston's got it at the 45. Trying to get around the man. He does. Now looking for blockers. Comes back to midfield. Down the near side of the 40. To the 35. He gets another big block. He's to the 30 and knocked out of bounds around the 27th. And the Rebels get another turnover out of the Crimson Tide. Boys in good field position. We're just trying to make turnovers. And if you get them on their side of the field, which really helps the offense, they only got to go like. 50 yards in instead of like 80 or 70. When you're playing great teams and, and you can get takeaways that create extra possessions for you typically on short fields, it's, it's absolutely important that we convert it into points. Man in motion, there's the snap he gives to Wilkins around the right side, Alabama can't get to him, touchdown Ole Miss! And I think they're thinking with that jumbo look, they're coming into the interior. They gotta guard us, remember that. They got to guard us, remember that. They got to stop us, remember that. It's what we do, it's not what they do, it's what we do. Stewart and Drake deep to receive this kick from Nathan Noble. And it's going to be right at the goal line and taken there. And the ball comes out. The Rebels say they have it. Did it come out before? Yes! Disaster for Alabama again. Hey, they hit that boy. Man, that's him. Man, that's him. That's him. Third and go from the four. Chad Kelly picking his way. He's running toward the far side. Dives. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Chad Kelly. Everything was inside, so I was like, yep. I tried to outrun dude, but he, I mean, that's a corner out there. It's hard to outrun corners, so figured, hey, I need to get into the end zone. So made a move, uh, kind of jumped over the one guy. It was like, hey, I'm getting in. I'm not, I'm not going to be denied. So I was able to reach the ball across and score. As fast as the Ole Miss start was, no lead is safe on the road in the SEC. Senior transfer Jake Coker would take the tide on a methodical 15-play drive. With a healthy mixture of run and pass, the Alabama offense would finally clear the hurdles of a turnover-plagued first half. Hey, go your eyes! Quit looking in the back of it! Coker looking far side, flips it to Mulaney, who leaps and hurdles for a touchdown! 75-yard drive, 540, and to the tide, stick with Coker from here on out. Hey, hey, are you having fun? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now, how many of you like to make history? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Legendary. Just know, you can be legendary today. You will never be forgotten, but let me tell you, it's going to take 30 minutes of absolute fight and doing your job over and over again, not somebody else's, yours. And when a play comes your way, make it, man. Make it. Three man now, four man front for Alabama. They bring up another one, the snap is high. Kelly grabs it, wants to throw, fires it up in the air. Treadwell can't get it. Deflection is caught! Deflection is caught! And down the sidelines is Ida Boyjo. He's to the end zone. He's in there. Touchdown, Ole Miss. <laughs> That was incredible. <laughs> God is great. God is very good. I just feel like it was it was God. It was God. It wasn't nothing but God. I was gonna throw it out right away, and 
the snap was kind of high, so I had to jump for it. I was like, man, there's got to be at least one over one because there's two guys over there. When I seen him throw the Quan, there was two people. I was like, oh, Quan's about to catch him. And the ball got tipped. You know, I didn't even see Quincy, like, you know, on the side. All I seen was just like a flare, like he just knew to just automatically be there. He went up for the ball, and next thing you know, the ball's in front of me, and my eyes get big. I've seen pictures, my eyes was like, oh, I got a little cross-eyed. <laughs> the ball was right in front of me, and I just caught it and went from there. Oh, my goodness. Kelly just threw it up. Treadwell had a play on it, and Adebojo was just there in the perfect position. 66 yards. Yeah, there's no question. Hugh Freeze went immediately to Chad Kelly. Chad came to him. He was pointing himself, my bad. I really didn't see it. I mean, I was on the ground. There was like two two guys that had rolled on top of me, so I really didn't see it. All I seen his coach walk about 10 yards out in the field and say, come here. I went straight to Chad and said, God answers prayers and don't ever do that again. You know, you need the ball to bounce your way to have one of those uh, special seasons. Luckily, you know, and thank God that one went our way. We knew it was going to be a 60-minute game. Uh, we knew that they weren't going to quit. Coker keeps it and picks his way to the end zone for a touchdown. So Alabama cuts it to 30-16 to with a buck 33 to go in the third quarter. Four-man rush. He's in trouble, and he's going to go down. He's sacked. Alabama defense is turning up the heat. There's a snap. Here comes a blitz. He's in trouble again and sacked again. And Alabama trying to spark their team via defense. Oker on the move, fires short, caught, Stewart, touchdown, walk it in. Two quick strikes by Bama, and it's a one-score game. Hey, if you don't know, you got a battle for four quarters. Hey. Now you know. Now you know. The Rebels would have their 20-point lead diminish to just six and feel momentum moving back to the 100,000 houndstooth-clad fanatics. Chad Kelly in the gun, fakes it, it's going to keep and run right. Now throw down, Phil Man wide open. He's got it to the 50, down the sideline, score. Nobody's going to get him. He's in the end zone. Hey, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Hey, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment, bro. Third down and five. Here's a quick pass. Intercepted at the 35. He tried to get it O.J. Howard and C.J. Johnson dropped back in coverage and picked it off. Hey, that's a huge stop. Hey, you don't even know how big that stop is right there. You have no idea how big that stop is. But he threw it right to me. I had to run him back. So I'm tracking the back, tracking the back. He pulled his hand off. I said, oh, he finna throw it right to me. Snap back to Kelly, fakes the handoff, wants to throw one-on-one -on -one with Treadwell. He's got it up there. Treadwell catches it. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss, Laquan Treadwell. I, mean, I love to see big, strong receivers that are able to just go up and use their hands to take a football away from a defensive back. A 19-point deficit with 10 minutes to go would send many of the Tide faithful heading for the exits. But the number two team in the country had no plans of retreating. Touchdown, Alabama. Two-yard run for Henry with 6.36 to play. It's 43-30. to 30. Now the onside kick coming from Griffin. And here he goes, and he does kick it. It's going to bounce high in the air and tip down the field and still rolling on the ground. And Alabama thinks they have it at the 30. They tipped it far down the field, and Cam Sims chased it down, and Alabama has the football with 6.36 to go. Second and goal from the two. Coker's going to run to his right, throw toward the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown, Mullaney, who's had a huge second half. Threw a bullet to him from two yards out, and Alabama has got it back to a single score. In the final four and a half minutes of the game, possession would change hands four times, raising the level of nerve-wracking anxiety along the way. Tony Bridges' interception of a Jake Coker pass gave the Rebels hope that the roller coaster ride would soon be over. But a turnover on downs gave Bama the ball and a final shot at victory. Alabama has got to get 10 on this one to keep this drive alive. 16 seconds left, Ole Miss 43, Alabama 37. There's the snap. He's looking. He's going to fire it downfield, and the pass is going to be incomplete. He dropped it, and the Rebels are going to win it, make it two years in a row, 43-37. 11th ranked Ole Miss knocks off number two, Alabama, and climbs to the top of the SEC West. What a game here in Tuscaloosa.